Hi again, everyone. This is Phil from Ashland Leather. I wanted to go over something today that is one of our most common questions asked that we get an email or we get on our website, and that is what is reverse shell cordovan? Many people are familiar with the finish side of the leather, which is the shell side. There's also a special hidden secret on the back, and if you stick around to the very end, I'll show you uh, something you can do at home with just a spoon that will help improve your leather. So check it out. So I have here, it's an amazing hand glazed reverse shell cordovan fat herbie. This one is in the color eight reverse. And a lot of people aren't sure what reverse actually means. And I think uh, it's, <laughs> it's not very logical. Basically the shell is intended to be finished on this side. So this is a piece of black shell and this is a piece of color eight shell. The intention is for the leather to be used on the shell side, but Walking through the tannery uh, over the years that I've been working there, I've just always been really uh, satisfied with looking at all the randomized dye splotches and even the Horween ink stamp on the wrong side of the leather. So we started making wallets using the wrong side. What we did was actually flip them backwards for the insides of the wallet, which actually I prefer the way that this wears in. It actually polishes itself a little bit, uh, as opposed to the shell, which sort of scuffs it itself up. So we started cutting for the wrong sides. When I say reverse black shell cordovan, I'm taking the black shell and I'm actually just looking at the back side of it, the reverse side. Some places you find they call this flush out or a suede out look. And it's a misnomer for cordovan because technically this is the grain side. We're actually finishing the shell and we're digging down to the shell, going from the wrong side of the leather, the underside, which is also known as the flesh side or the suede side. Um, and on this side, technically this is the grain side, although we've thinned it down and removed the layer of grain. So it's very confusing. So the best way that I came up with to define it is just to call this reverse shell. So you can see, and I've gone over this before in a different video, is the reverse shells can sort of range on the black to this greenish look, and sometimes they get a little bit lighter. Like I have a, a giant of the fox here. So you can see this one has all the range pretty much. So I've got the darkest it will ever go here, and the lightest will ever go here. So we can range from these colors. So you might ask, well, why is the shell reverse shell why does it change colors like that depending on the piece? Well, the way that we stain the cordovan at the tannery, we hand swab and brush on all the stain coats to the cordovan, and then we actually dunk it in a, a, it's basically a large bucket of water, and we let it soak in there. And actually that co the color sort of migrates away from the shell side, and it floats around in the water. So the longer that we've been doing a run, the darker that water in the bucket will become. And because of that, it's actually, it's almost like dip dyeing the backside of the leather. So if you're getting something at the beginning of the run, you might get this light tan because there's not much color absorbed into that water. And if you get towards the end of the run, you'll get this darker green shade. So hopefully that clears it up a little bit. And likewise on the color eight, this one is pretty light, but you can also see um, gosh, these are all pretty light, but you'll see that the longer they're in that tub of water, they get more reddish brown. So this is a good example of sort of the range of reverse color eight. Something that we've been doing recently that is a, that I want to keep a little bit of a secret for how we do it is we've been hand glazing the reverse shell cordovan. So this is a really, again, the first wall that I brought out earlier. I just think this is a really beautiful example of how smooth and polished we can get that reverse side to look. So again, this is sort of a proprietary way that we've gone about finishing it. You can see it's it's quite a bit more filled in and smooth and polished looking as opposed to, um, let me find one that's not. So he, here's a uh, ultraviolet reverse, which has a different stain color, but you can see this is a little bit more of a matte finish. It still has a little bit of a luster, but definitely not as bright and polished as these hand glazed versions. So I'm gonna keep that a secret. However, I took a piece about an hour ago of uh, just a piece of scrap I had. 
and I put just a little bit of water on it. And if you take a spoon, any spoon will do. <laughs> you can take uh, a shell and actually get a similar result. So let's do it on the black. So all you have to do is take just a little bit of water, drop it on there and give it a bit of friction. So the leather will darken uh, from the moisture, but it also will darken slightly because you're polishing in and filling in that grain side of the shell, which is the reverse side of the shell. You can see there's quite a bit of moisture on here. The longer you do this, the uh, smoother it will get. You don't have to use an incredible amount of pressure, just sort of like the weight of your finger is good enough. But what we're looking to do is to fill in the fibers with water and give it a light uh, bit of friction. So at this point we have an incredibly filled in and polished grain. It's um, flatter and, and more tight together as opposed to over here where it's a little bit more open. Um, I'm, I can look closely and see that it's a bit more sealed off is probably the best way I would describe it. So what I can do at this point is take it to my wheel behind me and just give it a little polish. And you can do this with a hand brush as well. All right, so after the buffing wheel, you can really see that the luster has come right out of there. But it's also quite a bit more smooth and polished and filled in. And that's sort of the same effect that you can get on your own as we've been doing with our hand glazed uh, proprietary finishing method. It's a little bit different than this, but you'll get similar results. All right, so there you have it. I just wanted to give a little bit more clarification on what reverse shell cordovan is. It's kind of a confusing thing because Reverse isn't very clear, but again, all we're doing is flipping the shells and using the backside of them.